Hey parents, if you are a parent of a sixth or a seventh grader attending Blitz, then this video is for you. If you are an eighth grade parent, we actually have a separate video for you later in the email. Um, but first off, we just wanted to let you know that it is not too late to register your child for Blitz. Um, today, Monday, will be the last day to register them, but we also want you to know that they will not be guaranteed a t-shirt because of late registration. Um, so check the link at the bottom of the email for the registration link. Um, and also know that you need a waiver from Cedar Springs, it's a medical release waiver, to do any one of our retreats or activities. So if your child attended fall camp or summer camp, they're probably good. But if they haven't, then go ahead and email Carrie. Her email is also on this email. Um, and just double check whether or not you have that waiver. Um, we just wanted to get, let you guys know a little bit about the schedule and what's going to be happening this weekend at Blitz. Um, first off, we are just so excited. Um, our eighth graders have worked so hard on this weekend. Um, we're going to be focusing on Matthew um, chapter 5 verses 13 through 16 about being the salt and the light of the earth. Um, so the eighth grade students have really gone above and beyond planning this weekend. Um, so we're going to start with Friday about what you specifically as parents need to know. Um, Friday is short and sweet. Um, we're just asking that you drop your child off at 7 p.m. Um, and that they have already eaten dinner by that point. We will not be providing dinner. Um, so 7 p.m. Um, and then pick up at 10. Um, your kids might try and tell you later. Um, 10 p.m. is the official pickup time. Um, and the only other thing we want to remind you is that we do not house your students between Friday and Saturday. So they are your responsibility. If they want to spend the night at a friend's house, do whatever, that's up to you guys. We just ask that whoever they are with, you make sure that they are actually sleeping. Saturday is such a full day. And we want to be sure that they can enjoy it and not be sleeping. <laughs> Yeah, and Saturday is a full day, so when you come there bright and early at 9 a.m. and drop your kid off, there's a couple things they need to have. The number one thing is a little bit of breakfast in their belly because we do provide a light cereal bar, but we're going to be working them pretty hard somewhat. But cereal might, may or may not be enough for your kid. You know them better than we do, so feed them accordingly. So additionally, we do provide dinner, which will be a super tasty Christian chicken, AKA Chick-fil-A for your kid. But for lunch, they will actually be eating with their service project group. So you need to send them with enough money to cover their meal at probably fast food. And also send them with some socks because that afternoon our activity is gonna be at the Change Center of Knoxville and they're gonna go roller skating. So that'll be a super fun time for them, but It'll only be fun if they have socks and can roller skate with their friends. So pack a pair of those. And also while you're thinking about clothes, just remember this is a service weekend, so don't wear your nicest like church clothes out there because you could be getting a little messy. So dress accordingly. And I think only a couple of different projects have closed toed shoes, but just consult with us and we'll let you know. Just don't wear like Gucci loafers or something like that to go paint in. But anyways, you also might want to pack a little bit extra money. This is not a requirement by any means, but if your kid might want to go rock climbing at the chain center, they have that at arcade or concessions. That will not be included. Just the roller skating is with our registration cost. All right, and after all that fun stuff, you will pick them up at eight, and we ask you just please be as prompt as possible with that because our eighth grade students are going to be the ones cleaning up after this event, so they can't start until all of our kids, your sixth and seventh grade students, are out of the picture. So. We'll see you then. We're looking forward to it. It's going to be a good weekend, y'all. Thank you. Mm -hmm.